Hello YouTube, this is Out of Control RC back with you again with the HPI Crawler King. Uh, As you can see, the fucking mine is broke. <laughs> yeah, I got our buddy Steven right here is uh, rebuilding the differential. differential. He uh, threw a center drive shaft, you know, all the power to one differential with these uh, 4600 kilovolt Castle Sidewinder 3. Uh, it kind of shredded the pinion and ring gear. Uh, so, we upgraded this and, uh, we have yet to make a video of it actually driving because doing a motor upgrade like this, uh, we had problems with, uh, you know, stripping the, uh, spur gear as you look right here. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit flattened out. So, what we did, uh, went with RC four wheel drive, um, and all the transmission gears and the spur gear is actually metal now. Uh, and if you want the part number, this is uh, by RC Four Wheel Drive is uh, Z-70049. Uh, in case you're wondering, very good upgrade. We drove it once earlier to test it. Just sounds a whole lot better with the metal gear. Uh, the only problem is, like, we're running stock gears, 21 tooth, 90 on the spur gear, was the ESC is, uh, it, it's overheating, so what we did, we just put this on here, uh, if you see our setup, you know, we've been doing some mud riding, uh, but we have it going to a harness, to the little battery pack with the Onyx batteries, uh, we actually made the door handle the power switch. And uh, we have light bars, that's uh, from RC Four Wheel Drive, he's got a pro line on the Bronco. And uh, we're probably going to wind up doing the other door handle, and uh, doing the battery pack again for the for the light bar. And, um, but yes, if you ever upgrade this uh, HPI Crawler King, um, recommend going and buying the transmission gears, because we have done went through several sets of spur gears, uh, several sets of transmission gears. Uh, the only thing is the the pinion gear and the spur gear. You want to, every time before you drive, just put a little bit of grease on it. Because, you know, you got two metal gears touching. Uh, like metal against plastic, you can run dry. Uh, two metal gears, you'd want to grease it up. Um, we did away with the stock controller. Went, uh, put the Spectrum DX2E receiver and transmitter in it. Uh, you know, we've had questions on, like, waterproof in the RC. If you look on the ESC, the sticker is gone. Well, right on the bottom of here, you have the crease. And they, they claim they're waterproof, but we, what we do is put a little bit of silicone around the bottom crack of the ESC. Uh, if you put a little bit of silicone right here, and on these receiver boxes, it's got the seal. But what we usually do after we screw it, put a little bit of silicone right here. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, if I can get a good view. Uh... Let me see if you can see there's silicone right there. I mean, that's the only real spot where uh, water comes in is in the bottom if you're going through deep water. Uh, put a little bit of silicone right there. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that, that's pretty much it with this one. He's, uh, he's pretty much got the same upgrades as, as you can see it right here. It's, uh, it's in pieces. He's fixing his, and uh, we're gonna come back with more videos on mud riding. Um, we got a couple more upgrades coming. The uh, metal differentials. We're gonna beef up the drive shafts. We are we are definitely not done with these builds. Uh, but yeah, tune in. We'll uh, we'll be coming with more videos. As you see up here, this will be our next video. We have a uh, summit souped up. I'll um, we'll be uploading a video on that, and I'll tell you about the upgrades and everything we did to that. And um, thanks for watching. You know, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll be seeing you again.